unseen. Side so unseen. a lot of demand for this. Who are these buyers? And uh, you know what industries are we going to see adopt this technology first? It's across the whole industry, aerospace industry. It's not. We've been talking about the flying cars, the Jetson. That's what it is in the concept, but reality, we're not going to buy. You're not going to have this in your garage, right? I mean, this is a four packs, four passengers, one pilot, and you're going to have to be embedded in the current ATM, the air traffic management. So obviously, you're going to have licensed pilot. It's all about safety. So uh, it's just going to be another way to travel instead of just going from the airport to downtown and you've got to get stuck on your car for two hours well you'll have an alternative it's going to be fully electrical exactly and I think you touched upon a point that I think a lot of people don't understand uh, when it comes to aircraft uh, nothing really operates that quickly right uh, there's a lot of safety certifications and like you just mentioned the ATM there's management this isn't really like back to the future where you just turn this on and start flying uh, you need to schedule and have a, a highway if you will up in the air but if we talk about certifications where are you in that process well, certification, it takes time, it takes, you know, expertise, and this is why we're really laying on the 54 years of experience of Amber Air that's been certifying more than 25 aircraft in the last 15 years, so we know what it takes, and that's probably, you know, we're on schedule. We're right now doing, in our test facility, putting together the first uh, prototype, uh, first prototype of five other prototypes that will come certifying, conforming prototype, and for the entry service in 2026. 2026, yes, we can see these. But you're going to start doing test flights this year, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. They get on to a facility in Brazil, and, um, and yeah, by the end of the year, we'll be flying, hovering, and cruising. So in Brazil, so if you happen to be in Brazil, you may see some of these test flights going on. Oh yeah, well, we'll make sure the world sees it also, right? So uh, no, definitely, that's, uh, that's what we need to have it. This is also what we elected to have our first production site. It's uh, one of the sites, the existing of Amber Air, it's a brownfield. And uh, we're going to be uh, producing the pre-series uh, uh, probably in 25 now. I know speaking of Embraer, EVE is a subsidiary of Embraer. How is it important is it to have a name like that uh, behind your company? You are you know, launching what is, in effect, a new type of technology, one that sort of taps into some of our primal fears, right? Some fear of heights, fear of flying. How important is that to have that name underlying your company? It makes the whole difference. We're not talking about expertise only in certification, but also manufacturing with quality. All right, we know that the aeronautical business has been really suffering you know, from the supply chain and making sure that you know, after the pandemic, we get the raw material, we get the parts, the system all together. And this is what we're doing right now. We're in the phase that uh, most of the suppliers that we elected, they're uh, really uh, uh, competent uh, suppliers. They're in Brazil as we speak for the six months, and then we're making the integration. Right, and this is, this is exactly the phase we're in. And like I said, by the end of the, of the year, we'll have the prototype.